Hi guys, Mark here. We're at the OKM Altenburg test field. We're going to test the Delta Ranger Pro on the ground scan mode. So I'm going to test this area right here that we know that there is a pipe under the sand. So I'm going to show you what the scan, how to do the scan field, what the scan field looks like after we've completed it. And then we're going to take this, transfer it to the Visualizer 3D. You're gonna see what the scan field looks like in the Visualizer 3D. And then we're going to take the pipe out of the ground and show you what the target looks like. So you will have the complete process A to Z, scan field to final analysis to target. So here we go. All right, there we go. Scan complete. I'm going through and I'm setting up the scan field here at a length of five meters. All right, and here you can see we have a target. So now we're going to take this, transfer it to the Visualizer 3D Studio and take a look at it on the laptop. Hi guys, Mark here. We've finished the Delta Ranger scan. We've brought the file in. We've transferred it from the Delta Ranger. You can see this is the, the scan file on the Delta Ranger. We've transferred that over to Visualizer 3D. So now we're going to look at it on the laptop. So what we've done here is this is our scan field. We started in this corner and moved up to there. So you can see this is the red line and we've got a very strong signal here and we've got a very strong signal here. So that's indicative of a ferrous metal target. And what we've demonstrated is that um, you know, with the Delta Ranger in the 3D ground scan mode, you've got a very clear target. The green is your neutral ground. You've got the negative side of the ferromagnetic target. You've got the positive side of the very ferromagnetic target. We go up um, into the, uh, use the crosshairs to help identify our depth. And we go in here and we see Okay, what exactly have we got depth wise? We go into the um, um, screen and we have approximately, we're looking at about somewhere around two meters depth. What's important here is to understand that the, the depth is an estimation, it's not an absolute value. So whenever you're doing uh, a 3D ground scan analysis and you um, find your, the depth that's indicated by the software, it's always a, you always want to use that as an approximation. In this case, if you're digging down and you get to two meters and you don't find your target, you keep going. Um, to make sure that you don't miss the target because that it's not an absolute value. When you have the same analysis in a field where you know that the target you've uh, been able to identify exactly what the depths are based on the soil type, then you can depend on it 
scan after scan after scan in that type of soil. But until then, it's important to know that it's an approximate value. But what we've done here is we've identified with the Delta Ranger in the 3D scan mode or ground scan mode that we found a target right here. So what we're going to do next is to pull this out of the ground so that you can see what it looks like on the phone during the scan, what it looked like here in the Visualizer 3D, and what it looks like underground. So let's go dig it up.